Hello everyone, it's Maven here and today I'll be, and as you can tell by the title of this video, today I'm going to be showing you on how to transfer your Steam games to another laptop without even re-downloading it uh, using your internet because some of you might have like a 1 megabyte per second uh, in type of internet and you can't afford to just, um, you know, like uh, re-download it all back again imagine like re-downloading back 8 gigabyte of you know whatever game you are gonna play like uh team fortress 2 uh just on a one megabyte per second internet uh, speed so i'm gonna show you on how you can without even using the internet you just need few stuff okay first you would need a first you would need you know your thumb drive and let's say you got another computer which has a game and you want to transfer that game to your laptop or another computer so here is the uh, thumb drive that i'm going to use it's a 32 gigabyte kingston um make sure that there is enough space let's say if the game is 8 gigabyte so yeah if the if the game is 8 gigabyte you uh you would need to actually um uh, take like 16 gigabyte is also enough um but most recommendedly i would recommend you uh like you know 16 gigabytes here so if you have 16 gigabytes good luck well if you don't have one then you probably should look for another method but this method requires like um like make sure the thumb drive has enough space okay so we're gonna go over to the computer and i'm gonna show you the method on how to transfer your steam games offline without even using the internet or anything all right let's get let's get to the computer okay everyone we're at the computer and uh, i'm gonna show you the way to um transfer your you know whatever file you whatever game you want to transfer okay so remember the um so connect your usb thumb drive to your computer okay connect that 32 gigabyte kingston hopefully it'll show up here sorry um yeah that is kingstone um okay so make sure it is enough okay so let's say this 28 gigabytes don't don't need to matter as long as the size of your game is going to be like um less than that then that you should be fine so let's go to steam and i have a lot of games that are not updated yeah so i'm gonna transfer a game that is updated and i feel like i want to transfer this and it's Team Fortress 2, and if you know from Team Fortress 2, um, it is like, like 20 gigabyte, almost 20 gigabyte. So uh, you don't want to, you know, transfer all of that. To, uh, you don't want to re-download that with only one megabyte per second, a slow internet connection. Okay, so we're gonna. So what you gotta do is click on Steam. Make sure the game is updated because if it's not updated uh then you can't uh do this process but if it is updated then congratulations so yeah you just you just download the update and then you can um, continue on okay so click on steam and then go down and look for the backup and restore games click on that and then um you see backup and install what would you like to do click on the backup currently install program and then click next down there now which game you want to download it these are the updated games if you see alien swarm over here apb over here emily is away over here team fortress 2 and tori bash and sauce filmmaker is just down there these are non-steam games uh, you can't transfer non-steam games so what I want to transfer here is Team Fortress 2. Now I need this much of this space. 
Yeah, that's why I told you to, you know, get a, you know, a very, very big, even 16 gigabyte is not enough, but luckily, there is like, like 27 gigabyte on this, and um, luckily I could, uh, I could transfer this, okay, so make sure where you want, so after that you click next, okay, and then you see your backup destination you want to back it up to your um, removable disk uh, my removable disk is uh, J so I'm gonna go on J now J you scroll down and that's J okay so we're gonna choose a new folder and just uh, put the team fortress backup okay so we're gonna click on okay then just click like that just leave it like that and then click select okay so um if your disk space is enough then congratulations you you can uh, click on next but if it's not enough it'll probably be grayed out and you can't even press it can't even proceed but luckily there's 32 gigs that's one of the reasons why I got a 32 gigs but just click next okay just click next and then ignore all of this approximate number of compressed files which will be written 17 oh my god that is such a big file but don't worry well just click next um don't have this okay so um so this is gonna take a quite a while even though it's just transferring to a USB yeah it's gonna take a while so I will come back to you once this is done I'll uh, just I'll just uh, stop the recording and then I'll continue back once it's done okay so yeah uh, just just hold on for a while okay okay so uh, Okay, I'm back, and uh, as you can see here, over here, once, uh, once you know, one thing to note here, I forgot to tell you just now, from well, uh, way early ago, um, you can use an external drive, like a one tera hard drive or anything, I'm sure that that particular the game will be you know smaller than the external hard drive so you can use an external hard drive i just use a thumb drive that was big just to you know speed things up a bit speed the backup process because you know how you know how f uh, how many times faster is a, like a usb from you know from a hard drive so yeah so yeah that's one thing to note but it's all just the same steps Okay, so now that we see here the backup is now complete, ignore all of this, just the only important line is backup is now complete. If if it failed, probably that's there's like a problem uh in your USB, like there's an like a corruption in your you know USB or whatever, which is very unlikely, but if you have a hard drive that's very likely actually so over here you can you got uh, two options open backup folder or click finish to just check you can just open the backup folder and you can see kingstone team fortress backup and here look at that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten thirteen so yeah it's just crazy how this thing so yeah that's all your backups there so um once you got that you can go ahead and click finish and then you know you can play your game if you want i'm not gonna i want so you just eject your drive okay so just eject it that it can be ejected okay so right we ejected it now we're gonna go over to the laptop and restore the um game just uh, put the game there basically on the drive okay so i'm gonna meet you at the lab okay everybody we're at the laptop now so uh, 
yeah okay so um, well uh, okay just hold on okay so um, hopefully it's recording okay yeah it's recording now uh, what you want to do here is uh, connect the USB or the external hard drive into your laptop or I mean call it as the target PC so yeah just searching for the oh god okay okay just hold on USB dropped but that's okay so um, once it is connected it'll open up and there we go we can see our team fortress backup now I recommend uh, now go to steam on the target PC see as you can see there's very little games over here so do the same process uh like like just now click on steam and then click on backup and restore games but this one over here you want to click on restore a previous backup now before doing this i would want to recommend you to connect your charger before doing this because if you know you know things will start going a little bit hazy and stuff okay so restore previous backup click on that select or select that and then click on next okay so here we saw program for a folder click on browse and then you want to go to your you know your um to your removable drive so my removable drive letter is D so I will want to go to this drop down box over here and then click on D go to Team Fortress and then click on Team Fortress and then click select and over here Team Program Backups 1 Team Fortress 2 okay then after that once it is like like this click on next and um, over here you you know you do your stuff okay so just ignore all of this if you want to create the desktop shortcut which is basically like it'll create a shortcut here create a stat menu shortcut which means it creates a shortcut over here somewhere but uh, the only you know you know the only important thing is this and this make sure those are okay and if you're not enough of this space you know, this thing will probably be grayed out but then after that if you do have that just click on next okay and then preparing team fortress 2 files for install so once so you want to let that run and uh, so on this laptop is gonna run so I'm gonna continue the video once it is done installing okay so yeah I'll see you guys later J okay so yeah see you guys later all right okay so um, hopefully it's recording yes it's recording okay so if it passed it'll show this it'll show steam you selected the game blah 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 you can read that I'm gonna stop right here so you have to read that means it's successfully installed so you can click on finish and then you're basically good to go you get to, you're good to run but um if you want to delete that backup folder just to you know you wanted to use that use that you can delete that backup folder if you want to if you don't want and uh, wish to like use it on another computer then uh, you can go ahead and do that but um now I'm, I'm deleting it permanently from the thumb drive because over here as you can see team fortress 2 43 hours and ready to play usually if you go to your downloads tab over here I'll say this 7.6 gigabyte or 7.6 gigabyte ready to rock and roll cancel that and basically can get into the game all right so um yeah I'm gonna switch to camera 
all right okay i'm gonna switch the camera now isn't that just that is just so easy okay so yeah if you follow the steps correctly you can actually um you know do that process you can get the process to you know work out fine and get to install your game and everything okay but if you can't there's probably something wrong in one part probably you you might have like you know like um did something wrongly but make sure you follow the steps thoroughly like what i showed to you and you'll be fine okay so yeah so anyways thank you for watching this uh quick guide on how to you know transfer your steam games onto another computer without even using the without even re-downloading the game okay so yeah it's very effective and very easy so yeah that's it that's it i'll wrap it up i'll wrap it up here so thank you guys for watching this video and make sure to leave a like or comment or comment if you have any problems and uh, subscribe okay so goodbye